Well, actually, guys, Windows 11 KB5058405 update is causing a boot failure. That's exactly what's happening right here. So basically, what's happening, the problematic update KB5058405 was officially pushed on May 13th, 2025, targeting Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2. Mere hours after the release, Microsoft support channels and community forums began filling up with reports, systems locking up at boot, displaying the error code you see on the screen right here. It's a recovery error, and it's related to the ACPI.sys or system. Refers to the advanced configuration and power interface subsystem and crucial part of Windows kernel, which is basically responsible for power management and hardware discovery. So this file is a key part of Windows. And when this file is compromised or corrupted or incorrectly replaced, the aftermath can be catastrophic to the boot up sequence. It will display your PC or device needs to be repaired. The operating system could not be loaded because of the required file is missing or contains errors. If we check Microsoft's Windows 11 version 23H2 known issues page and notifications page, you can see they've got some updated information on here about automatic rollouts to 24H2. If you run 23H2 or 22H2 and your system's not managed by an IT department, you will receive the 24H2 version of Windows automatically. It's going to automatically download and install onto your computer. But on this page here, they do actually recognize the issue that is at hand, which is to do with the blue screen of death. You can see right here, known issues, and it's listed right here, where it says Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2 might fail to start with the error code you see on the screen. And it also displays the acpi.system file error after installing the update. Microsoft have also said that this known issue impacts Windows 11 22H2 and 23H2 systems in the enterprise environment and mainly affects Azul uh, virtual machines and Azul virtual desktops. And it's also affecting on-premise virtual machines hosted by Citrix or Hyper-V. So you can see this is a major problem for companies, but Microsoft have gone on to say that home users of Windows Home and Pro editions are unlikely to face this issue as virtual machines are mostly used in IT environments. But that being said, they said they have had some that have been affected. Now, of course, with Microsoft's proven track record, uh, it says that it's unlikely. It doesn't say it won't affect you. So if you are running a older version of Windows 11, say 22H2 or 23H2, and you are offered the KB5058405 update, I would more than likely hold off myself if I was offered that update just in case it does end up causing you a blue screen of death with the acpi.system file error. And I would definitely not want to be dealing with that issue because it will cripple the system and you won't be able to boot. And if you're not familiar with IT and how to fix stuff, it could render the computer unbootable and unfixable for yourself you might need to then do a fresh install. So bear that in mind if you end up running into this issue. Now, there is an easy fix for these, of course, but obviously you need to be tech savvy and some people aren't. So I would just hold off if you do get offered this update, just in case I wouldn't go by Microsoft's track record and listen to what they're saying, because at the end of the day, uh, you've got to think about keeping your system up and running i do love the bit where it says improvements and it actually cripples the system <laughs> it's just unbelievable how they sort of put it down as an improvement and you're going to get a blue screen of death and your system won't boot but hey let's keep updating windows straight away as soon as they're released that is the problem with a lot of people they just roll these updates out as soon as they're dropped by microsoft and some people have no issues whatsoever and some people just get crippled by them so badly so it's up to you whether you roll this update out yourself. I would hold off and wait a little while. It's been a problematic update, this one. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, and I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.